Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. For today, I've done a look that I've never done for my channel before. It's an all red monochromatic look. We did a red winged liner, a bold red lip, and of course the skin turned out flawless. And I'm doing this all in partnership with Shiseido. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Serum Concentrate to prep our model's skin with. I love prepping the skin with a really rich, quality serum like this one because it sinks into the skin and creates the perfect base to lay makeup on top of. This serum right here is great for anyone with dry, dull, or uneven skin tones because this formula is packed with antioxidants that not only protect your skin from daily damage, but also plumps it with hydration for a really smooth finish. And as usual, I bring the skincare down the neck as well. Next up, I'm using the Plexiglass Illuminator to add in that extra glow. This is how I love using this product underneath the complexion products. I just take my fingers and work the product into the high points of the face where I want to see that highlight from. So the cheekbones, brow bone, down the center of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and maybe a tad bit on the forehead. What's really fantastic about this formula is that it doesn't show any trace of glitter. So it's not going to add texture to your makeup and it also also doesn't pill up, which is also really important to me. It just leaves the skin with the most beautiful glass-like glow that's going to shine through the foundation we next use. For foundation, I'm using two different shades of the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation in the shades Oak and Hanna. I had started out using the lighter shade to apply to the center of the face, but decided, you know, let me add in the contours today with the deeper shade first, and I'll then show you how I use the other foundation uh, shade to blend everything in. So that's what I'm doing here, adding in the contour to the areas of the face I wanna add dimension to, the cheekbones, forehead, jawline, and around the nose. You've seen me use this foundation quite a bit on my channel this year. It's become one of my favorites to work with. It looks so incredible on the skin. It makes anything I use with it blend seamlessly and a little goes a long way with this. I personally use the shade called Lace and I only use two or three dots around the face, buff it in with a brush and that's all I need. But you're gonna see me take the sponge here and start incorporating that lighter shade of foundation to blend everything in, little by little. I want those contours to be really soft and subtle and I want the skin to remain dewy looking. I'm not using a powder highlighter today, I'm just relying on the skincare, the plexiglass we used underneath this foundation to get the most incredible glow and I'll later use powders to mattify parts of the face that we want to tone down that shine from. So now that we have this blended, I'm heading over to the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer in the shade 202, applying this to the under eye area and then blending this in with a sponge. This is a medium to full coverage concealer that has a natural finish with up to 24 hour wear and that blends out flawlessly, just like their foundation. You can even use this to highlight different areas of the face like the, the, uh, the center of the forehead and down the center of the nose and all that, but honestly, I really really love how the rest of the skin is looking so far. It's not looking like there's tons of makeup on. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, of course there's, you know, there's makeup there, but her skin still looks authentic with that glass-like glow. And what I love about this concealer and foundation is that the skin tends to look better throughout the day as it wears. So I'm going to spend the next moment blending this out and then we'll start setting these products in with the powder. Okay, so for powder, I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Invisible Silk Loose Powder with their Powder Puff to lightly set that concealer around the eyes. They have two different finishes in this powder. One is radiant and the other is matte. So today, I'm using the matte one and it's completely translucent so it works universally on all skin tones. Now for the rest of the face, I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation in the shade 220 Linen and I'm applying this on with their face brush. 
I'm more so keeping this placement towards the center of the face because I'll next be going in with a deeper shade of this same powder foundation for the perimeter of the face. It's like we're, you know, it's like we're painting here. I'm keeping the light colors in the center so we have that soft spotlight effect. That's kind of my goal with contouring and highlighting. I want it to look like there's a spotlight on my model's face at all times. And here's when I'm adding in that same powder foundation, but this time in the shade Amber. This is going to complement the areas of the face we had contoured earlier. So I'm pairing the powder shades with the foundation shades, which gives us a really effective and blended result. I had first tried out this powder when, you know, someone who worked at Sephora recommended it to me, and I've been hooked ever since. They really do blend like a dream. They don't look cakey on the skin or anything like that. They just make the skin look airbrushed and so soft. So now that we're finishing up with these powders, I'm going to use this Shiseido Pop Powder Gel Eyeshadow in the shade Waku Waku Pink and use this to blush up Julia's cheeks. And yes, this is an eyeshadow, but I love using eyeshadows as blushes sometimes. It works practically the same for me and gives me the result I want. And although I don't usually incorporate much blush into a look where there's a red lip involved, I'm trying something a little different today and having fun with this whole color story. So to begin on the eyes, I'm using that deeper tone to powder foundation we had used around the perimeter of her face earlier, and I'm just running that across the upper lid to give it some depth and smokiness. It's nothing over the top or anything like that. I, I want to keep this understated as the eyeliner we create will be bold enough. The eyeliner I'm using is the Shiseido Kajal Ink Artist in the shade Rose Pagoda, and I'm using this to create a statement winged liner. I was originally gonna do a smoked out red look, but once I started applying this liner, I knew this was it. I haven't done anything like this before on my channel, and I love how bold it is without looking like we tried too hard, you know what I mean? And it's easy. It's not something that's gonna take you all afternoon to achieve. These Ink Artist liners come in 10 different shades, and and you can use them on the eyes or the lips or even on the brows. They're waterproof, smudge proof, and you can see that the color pigment just glides right on. It has a built-in sharpener if you need to reshape the tip. And what I like to do with this before the product sets is I like to take an angled liner brush or detail brush and finesse the outer corner of the wing to get a really sharp and defined result. Now I'm gonna do the other wing off camera and then come back for the mascara. But before before that, I'm quickly brushing through some colored pigment through the brows. I, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what eyeshadow I'm using here. It was just something I grabbed for on my makeup table. I use something that has this, this light taupey brown shade to it, and I'm lightly filling in the ends of her brows with this. I want the brows to be super soft and natural looking today. Julia has some great brows to begin with, so I don't want to overdo it here. For a look like the one we're creating today, I feel you know, a heavy brow paired with a bold eyeliner and a red lip would be just a little too much, in my opinion. I think it's all about balance. So in this case of brows today's, less really is more. As promised, I'm heading back to the eyes with this Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara and running this through the upper and bottom lashes. I actually find this to be a really nice mascara. It's not too chunky or or thick. It has the perfect consistency to it to coat each individual lash. And speaking of lashes, you can totally pair the eye look with false lashes or individuals, but sometimes it's it's nice to go without them, especially for this kind of look. Much like what I was saying about the brows, I think false lashes would make it a little too heavy looking. Now for lips, I'm using the Shiseido Modern Matte Powder Lipstick in the shade Melodrama and applying this straight on. How I find it easiest to work straight from a lipstick tube is to not worry so much about getting it perfect at first. Just get the color onto the lips and then go back in and fine tune the borders to make sure everything looks clean. This is such a beautiful formula of a lipstick. It glides right on, it's super rich in color and makes for the perfect base of the red lip I'm creating today. We can really see how this monochromatic red look is pulling together here and how the power of red is so striking in this look. 
To top off this lip, I'm using the Shiseido Lacquer Ink Lip Shine in the shade Techno Red for a high shine, vibrant red finish. This, paired with the lipstick we just used, makes for the most stunning red glossy lips. It looks saturated and radiant and expensive and timeless. This is a red lip that will never go out of style and looks truly beautiful on everyone. And I'll say the undertones in this red lip pair perfectly with the red in the eyeliner, which makes this the perfect last step in creating this bold red monochromatic look on our naturally beautiful model. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.